Hello, you are welcome. To solve for x in this nice problem, let's take 20 to this side and we have x raised to the power 4 plus x square minus 20 equals to 0 from here. Then here we can rewrite 20 minus 20 here as minus 16 minus 4. Then this becomes x raised to the power 4 plus x square minus 16 minus 4 now equals to 0 from here then here let's group this minus 16 and x raised to power 4 together and this gives us x raised to power 4 then minus 16 then we have plus x square minus 4 together now equals to 0 from here and uh, from here, we can rewrite this as x square, then also square. Here, 2 times 2 will still be 4 on the law of indices. Then we have minus 16 here, we can write it as 4 square. Then we have plus x square minus 4 from here, which is equals to 0 here. Now, here, when we group this together, and we also group this together. Applying what we have from perfect square, when we have a square minus b square, this same thing as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Then when we apply that here, x square here serving as a, then 4 serving as b, and this becomes x square plus 4 then multiply by x square minus 4 then we have plus here we have x square minus 4 now equals to 0 from here if you are watching master team math class if you are enjoying this class please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you now we have x square minus 4 comma here. Let's factor it out. We have x square minus 4. Then also what is left here is x square plus 4. Then what will be left here is 1. So we have plus 1 here. Now equals to 0 from here. Which also we can write as x square minus 4. Then multiply by x square plus 5, now equals to 0 from here. Now here we have two cases. We have either x square minus 4 equals to 0, or we have x square plus 5 equals to 0. And from here, we can also write this as x square minus 2 square equals to 0. And when we apply the perfect square, also from here, we can write this as x plus 2. Then multiply by x minus 2 equals to 0, which implies that we have either x plus 2 equals to 0, or we have x minus 2 equals to 0 which implies here that we have x equals to when plus 2 comes here become minus that's minus 2 or we have x equals to 2 then on this side as well we can solve this and when we take 5 to this side we become minus so we have x square equals to minus 5 then we can take the square root on both sides. We have square root of x square equals to square root of minus 5. And here, square cancel square root. We have x left, which is equals to plus or minus. Here we can write it as root 5 times minus 1. And there, which we can separate as x equals to plus or minus root 5 then times root 1 
root minus 1 and root minus 1 here is i so here we have x now equals to plus or minus root 5 i so here we have four solutions from here we have two only solutions here if this is x1 x2 then x3 is we have root 5i then x4 we have minus root 5i then from what we have we can check to see if this solution satisfy the given problem from what we have here when x equals 2 plus or minus 2 we can take it together so x equals 2 plus or minus 2 let's see if this will satisfy then this equation become plus or minus 2 raised to power 4 then plus also plus or minus 2 squared is equals to 20 then when we check from here minus raised to power even number will still be plus so here same thing as 2 raised to power 4 then plus also this is raised to power even number so minus will still be plus so we have 2 raised to power 2 is equals to 20 then here 2 raised to power 4 to multiply say 4 times that's 16 then plus 2 squared that's 4 is equals to 20 then 16 plus 4 that's 20 which is equals to 20 and also when we check for x equals to plus or minus root 5i then in the equation we have we become x raised to power 4 that's plus or minus root 5i raised to power 4 then plus x squared that's plus or minus root 5i squared with this be equals to 20 then from here also this plus or minus will be plus plus of the even power so here we simply have root 5i raised to power 4 then also plus here we have root 5i as well raised to power 2 is this equals to 20 then from what we have here root 5 can be written as 5 raised to power half then this power 4 we affect it which is raised to power 4 then i raised to power 4 that is 1 because we have i raised to power 2 that's minus 1 so i raised to power 4 that's simply 1 then plus here we have also we can write root 5 as 5 raised to power half then square then i square that's minus 1 is equals to 20 then from here to here from the law of indices this power multiplied and 2 here 1 2 here 2 so we have 5 square times 1 that's still 5 square then plus here this cancel each other then we have 5 left here then times minus 1 here is equals to 20 and 5 square here 5 times 5 that's 25 then 5 times minus 1 that's minus 5 is equals to 20 and here 25 minus 5 that's 20 which is equals to 20 so it also satisfies the given problem and thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos share this video with a thumbs up see you next class and bye for now